people welcome back to the third channel welcome back to for the love of idents now in this video i don't need to stop doing now we're reviewing a selection of george day ident for the amazing channel rewind tv rewind tv is a brand new archive channel that shows shows for such as i'll name a few watching the prisoner um the return of the saints department s the optimist a fine romance words of gummage down under monkey rhubarb uh the atv series of hancock uh films such as uh rise of the titanic the riding damp film um and, and so much more that i haven't said oh mrs merton uh, Chelford 1, 2, 3, so much, oh, Space 1999, there's so much that I've not yet mentioned, and so, with the launch date, the 23rd of May 2023, they did have the test channel, so the test channel had all the problems with it, and it was, uh, Marjorie, who's on the anyways also on the channel, uh, Drop the Dead Donkey is also on the channel. So, today we're going to be reviewing all the items in, a particular, in no particular order. So, the, uh, as you can tell, my head from the hair as a prop. Because obviously when you watch something, you do that. So that is the uh, prop. And obviously I didn't want to shout, so just mimed what I was going to say. So, please roll ident number one now. So there you have it, that is ident number one. Now, if we had to name these items, because they're the launch idents, we're naming it um, Living Room, I think. I think we're going to name it Living Room, because the idents themselves are, well, the ident itself is based in a living room. I personally quite like it. I think it's a interesting concept i like the i don't know if you how well you can see from this distance but i, I like the retro looking comedy group connection we have for for it and i like how we we zoom out i do apologize that that light over there is not on i'm pointing with my foot but it's that light over there's not on i will turn it on for we review the next item and i quite like the act I, don't, I like how it's all how it's all co come together. I think the couches, the settees, the um, seats arrangement is quite nice. I don't know how you watch the TV from there if you set up in there because the TV is there. So personally, I think the TV is a good addition to um, to it, and I quite liked the way it looked. Um, I do apologise if the headphones didn't affect the audio at all. Um, and so, I like the lamp. I just think, if we play through, I quite like how we zoom out before we get to that section of the item. So, there you have it. I personally think that that's a really good one, but we'll give my overall re review at the end. So, let's watch ident number two. So there you have it, that is second item. Now, I quite like the snowy element of the ident overall. I think that it it works really well. So if we if we have a look at it here, but my favourite bit of this ident is let me get to it. So let me just No, oh, right, so let me come towards the camera so I can play this part to you but it's how the snow hits it let's go again it's the snow it's the sn snow hitting it which is my favorite section of it so we go again back again 
and it's really good because you can see it as it ejects towards it and then hits it. And I like how that the that the Rewang logo is perceived to be like the eye to the ident. That the eye is like it's saying that this TV is alive. This TV is a person, and that as a concept really works really well. So let's review ident number two. Um, let's watch the second, the third ident now. So there you have it, that was ident number three. Now I do apologise that this video seems to be higgledy pickledy. What I mean by that is that I start off with a prop and then I think, oh, well, what before I watch whilst I'm watching the ident, I think, hmm, it might affect the audio, so I take it off, as in the headphone. Um, but because we've got the connection between the ident and then the next clip, it means that we can easily swap into the setup. I forgot to turn that light on, so I had to fix that. And then we had to, oh, and then I found an error in the shot, so I had to alter that. So we're here reviewing the third item. No, it's a jungle item. So the other one was snowy. This one is jungle. I, I've got to be honest, I don't like this one. I, I like the first two, but I just don't like this one. It doesn't so I like the ambient noise you get from the jungle like <laughs> sorry about that error um the it stopped it will have stopped midway through as a, an impression of a monkey or a conversation I don't know when it ended because my uh, extra monitor I look at to make sure that the frame in script which soft correct died on me so we're here talking about the jungle ident. Let me just, it's just for a frame reference point when I come to uh, edit this video. And I think personally, it's not great, there's nothing to it, and it feels just a little bit less interactive. So the first one, you can get away with it because it's the first, it's, it's like this is a traditional setup. We're just trying to show off a little bit what we're doing. The second one was interacting with the snow and they had the animation of the snow. And this one just feels that the audio is trying to carry it, but you won't be able to really hear the audio because that Rewind TV, unlike that's TV 1 and that's TV 2, has a continuity, an occasional continuity announcer. I have asked if I can do some continuity announcing for them, but who knows? So I don't think that this isn't as good as the others. But I'm not saying it's bad, it's just not in my favourite list. So, that is the Jungle Ident. Now, let's go and watch the very next Ident. Please enjoy Underwater! Now this is it, this is another perfect one because the perfect because if I can show you my, I can't really tell if I'm showing you properly but you can see that it's got the bubbles, let me just uh, make sure my audio is off so I can just scroll through it, you can see the bubbles and I think that the it works really well in that sense because it's it just, it's a constant reminder that we're technically not in the sea we're in a fish tank sort of thing and in each item the tv changes to reflect a different year or a different era in technology that the tv is based around so i quite like the underwater nature of it and i just think it works really well it you can see a bit the top of the water up here um you can see the bubbles there i just think that overall i, I really do need a projector if you want to do these types of things this be amazing overall i do think that it works really well so i am very much on board with this ident right let's get on to our final ident of the review uh, and then i'll give my overall thoughts this is 
Let me just scroll through it. Now this is, um, let's say, abandoned. Shall we say abandoned? But I'm going to say Western abandoned. So please enjoy our next ident. <laughs> So again, it's like jungle in a sense, so I wasn't too keen on it, but this one does have something going for it, because unlike jungle, which was just a zoom out, as well as uh, the living room was as well, but living room, it, you just think that they're going to be talking over that, and that's like a really perfect way off point. It's this, it's the dust, shall we say? I'm going to call it the dust. Uh, I do think that that worked really well, and I feel that the ident itself just played off. It it was such brilliant. It's better than I, I think everything's gonna be better than jungle. But living room was oh. on hindsight probably isn't my favorite either. I do think that snow snares. Uh, like a snow day, snow landscape, underwater, and um, abandoned, I think, are my favourites. Because I quite like how the, the, the TV then changes again. You get, you get some of the surroundings and you get some of the um, effects. So you're trying to work out where you are and you semi-know what the atmosphere is around it. So, to round off this video my overall thoughts on the Rewind TV launch day ident. Hopefully uh, the people that are at Rewind TV UK are watching this. Hopefully they are. Uh, I personally think all the idents are a good start. They're not a... They have a continuity announcer which helps. Because it means that you're watching this ident and you understand what's next. You're not just watching it. And then get the program. You you sort of know what's happening next. And I think if they weren't with the continuity announcer, I don't think the items would have worked. But overall, I think the items are amazing. All of them deserve a round of applause. <laughs> and well done. Hopefully, when they decide to update their items, that they're as good as that or even better. Hopefully we don't go backwards, because I think that they are really good items for a launch date, which was on the 23rd of May 2024. The channel itself so far, from what I've seen, God, I wish it's since launch date, is amazing, right? I have no issues with the with the channel. It's amazing. So well done. I think my favourite Rex archive channels now go uh, Rewind TV. BBC Four, um, that all talking pictures. That's TV. That's TV Two, and then all the then then it comes into an estimate of. Uh, I'm gonna say great TV. The great. There used to be Sony something, but great is in there. Uh, the great series, I'm going to say, the great collection of channels, so one that are called Great Blah, Great Blah, is number six, and number seven is Challenge TV. So Rewind TV, the items are immaculate, they're amazing, they're wonderful, and they're just what we want. There's a few things I would have done better, and Jungle isn't nowhere near as good as the others. I would have added, like, a monkey swinging from the trees or something, a little bit more to it, and with the living room, I would have a hand pop in to turn the TV off, switch it on something else, or do something more than just to zoom out. But other than that, I think they're really good items. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Time out, time out. Bye!